Okay Dave, this is the local main local street. This one's called um, Victoria Street. And um, I'm just going to come over and show you the actual uh, one of the monuments here that is popular. See Victoria Street, there we go. And the other one is Stephen Street. This one's the most popular one, Victoria. There's some uh, black boys over there, or grass trees as they say. So they're everywhere in Western Australia. Okay, I'm walking up to um, Mr. John Forrest himself. Remember the guy I showed you in Kings Park? This is ahead of him, up close and personal down here in Bunbury. Very well known uh, local in Western Australia. So, um, yeah. I must have loved him because there's actually a, a hotel named after him called the Look. Uh, the Lord John Forrest Hotel. Okay, what does it say down here? He was the Baron of uh, Bunbury and he was an explorer and statesman. He, he was born in um, 1847 and he died in 1918. So, there you go. It was made possible by a lot of different companies here in Bunbury. They, so they donated this to the city of Bunbury. Man, he must have been very popular. So there you have it. How's this for toilets? You have to pay to go in. Never seen these before in my life. It's the first I've ever seen them. So uh, I guess it's one way of keeping toilets clean. You have to pay to to uh, have to have a shit or or go to the toilet. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. What have we got here? Here's a plaque here. It says, um, This plaque commemorates the uh, St. Paul's Anglican Church built on this site in 1866. It replaced the former church of, of 1844, became the pro cathedral of the uh, De Guise of Bunbury in 1904, and he was demolished, and it was sorry, it was demolished in 1963. So if you can see that in the sun, that's what it looked like. And this is the plaque that commemorates that particular building, which no longer stands here. Hmm, yeah, it's a bit of history for Western Australia for you. Not even I knew that. <laughs> okay, moving back down Victoria Street. So it's like a giftware shop there, McBride's. Some of the local banks here. That's one of them. There's another one over there. Our local chemist, or what you would call in America, drug shop. I don't know what they call it in, uh, in Polish, but I think I'm pretty sure it's called Aptica, or Aptic. Hopefully I've got that right. <laughs> yeah, some more shops. With lots of different um, gifts for people to buy, for different people, or for themselves. Mm. Okay, another dress shop. For all the Russian girlies down over in Poland, which they won't be able to buy any dresses from here. But um, some of the bags that they could be wearing or using, or whatever. That's the shop I bought some. Uh, some of your local uh, Australiana for for you and um, you'll probably end up seeing those soon enough. It's called the Wombat Lodge. Sorry, 
Suzanne, another girly shop for all the things girls. A news agent called Central News, here in Bunbury. Another music store down here called Abbott's Hi Fi. Some of the plant life that surrounds Bunbury. Mm. A bit windy here today. Toy World. Anything toys for the kiddies? Bike shop. Anything fishy? Ooh, look at that. Oh, big jaws there. Yeah. It's hard to see, but yeah, you get the gist of it. Another jewelers called Smales Jewelers. I wonder what they got in here. Let's have a look. Nothing. I take all their jewelry down on holidays. Oh, well. another cafe called Just One Thai Restaurant. Furniture stores, room to room. And uh, sports one. Anything sporting memorabilia. From cricket to uh, boxing, Muhammad Ali down there. Surfing. Uh, anything in between. And over here is the. Uh, I'll have to cross over. Just here is the Rose Hotel. Yeah, it's my hotel. <laughs> Definitely is. It's named after me. Yeah. It even has the good old Guinness traditional Irish stout as a symbol on the windows. Mind you, I don't drink any of that stuff, so you've got nothing to worry about. This one, what you see out here, is called the Brother and Sister. It's a, some sculptures that were donated to the Bunbury City. It was actually donated by the Rose Hotel, those particular statues out there. Okay, this is the front entrance of um, the Rose Hotel. If you were to have a drink in there, it's got the restaurant lounge down there as well. I'll probably take another picture out there. This is actually the ooh, reception. Look at that. You can see that in the window. That's the uh, armor. Looks like I was a warrior at some stage. Hmm, very interesting. With his sword and everything. Man, I must have travelled a long way to come to Western Australia, all the way from Europe. <laughs> That's for sure. Cool. What else have we got in there? Eh, not much else, but it looks pretty old inside. It's a pity it's locked, actually. I know. They're open. There's another picture of um, the suit of armor. 